Hey dealers, this is James with Segment Ma Wholesale. Take a look at one of our most crazy and fun accessories that we carry. Our line of bug assault guns will absolutely help you dress up your shelves and make your customers smile when they find out what these things actually are. Now there are plenty of hilarious videos and photos out there of these mean machines, but let's take a quick look at them from a dealer's perspective and see why these guns have big potential to grow your customer base. <laughs> A quick history lesson of these little fly killers starts with a man named Lorenzo, an eighth grade dropout. Yes, a high school dropout turned millionaire after thinking this bad boy up. Now you can read his long path to fame online, but I did find myself smiling when he said this all started with him as a teenager shooting flies off the window with his BB gun stuffed full of sand. I mean, who hasn't put things down the barrel of your Red Rider BB gun when we were all young? Just me? No one else? No? Okay, all right, never mind. Moving on, so somewhere along the way, he ended up with the patent around 2012, and the first versions were created. And now we are on to versions 2.5 and 3.0, which we sell at Second Amendment Wholesale for you to stock your shelves with. Now in 2019, they had already sold 2.5 million units, and last year, one year alone, they almost sold a million. Now let's start with the 2.5 version. What they did with this version is to improve sighting and re-engineered the internal mechanisms to really help this product last. We have these in two colors, reverse yellow and black camo fly. The difference in the 2.5 version and the 3.0 version really lies in the safety. After a slew of bells and whistles requested by the most hardcore hunters, the 3.0 version now incorporates a cross bolt safety, which I find very practical as it feels more natural. It also has a redesigned trigger and a patrid sight, making it feel great in the hands of veteran shooters. These are also more powerful, which means you actually splatter the bug, unlike the 2.5 version, which leaves them intact for easy cleanup. For the 3.0 version, we have a variety of color schemes for everyone to enjoy. We have the traditional yellow, the orange crush edition, the clear amount limited edition, the black fly edition, the pink passion assassin limited edition, and the real tree camouflage pattern, which is a must as you sneak through the woods stalking your prey. The parts of these are all typical. You have your lift cap where you pour in your salt to get your around 80 shots. You have your salt viewing window to see how much is in there. And this is the slide cocking mechanism or pump handle to load the weapon. You also have your safety mechanism and you also have something that actually took me a hot minute to realize. You have your pop-up sight, which only raises up when the weapon is cocked, letting you know when you are ready to fire, especially when you leave it laying on your desk, cocked, locked, and ready to rock for the next bug that lands and you want to blast them off, right? But that is what that's for. It lets you know that the orange rear sight is up so it's pumped. Brilliant. And if your customers need an accessory, we've got it. This is the Bug Beam Laser Adapter Kit to just make it even more fun. This laser takes three 1.5 volt button cell batteries commonly used in flashlight and washes. And yes, you actually can calibrate it with this included Allen wrench to be dead on. And here are some things that I have personally learned that you could share with some of your customers from when I was playing with it. I mean, the kids were playing with it. I mean, it's for adults only, but I'm a parent and I can make these decisions. Anywho, do not leave these outside in the heat and the humidity. The salt will start to stick together and they won't work very well. Another tip is to think about what the insect is actually residing on. The harder the surface, the better chance the insect will die. For example, we were shooting these on the side of a metal building and it obliterated them. Kablooey, they were dead. They will not survive. But on carpet, they may shrug it off and then give you a buzz depending on the shooting distance and fly off. And the reviews on these guns are absolutely amazing. I have to agree with one that I read online that says everyone should own a bug assault. I agree, I've not shown or taken this to a party where this hasn't been a hit. They really are fun for everyone and your customers will love them. Now, I know there are a lot of videos out there of these fly slayers, but I feel we would just be missing the mark if we didn't get some epic footage of us destroying some flies. And I have been keeping bait just for this occasion in the form of this Krispy Kreme donut box where the donuts were ordered in May of this year. Now, I would like to formally apologize to Krispy Kreme for the blasphemy of not eating these donuts, but they just kind of got lost amongst the break room items. So again, sorry, KK, but now you get free advertising. Cue the epic video. Uh -huh.